you mentioned like that you caught people that work in police officers and different people from different walks of life. Sure. The one thing I found crazy watching the show was the time that the guy arrived at the house and knew you from being on the train. <laughs> like what in are the chances of that in the States happening? Well, you know, I knew that we were, you know, in an area where, you know, I had lived for a number of years uh, commuting into the city. I didn't dream or anticipate that somebody I knew from the commuter train between Connecticut and New York City would service in the investigation. And it wasn't a very close friend. It was just somebody who I had met, you know, in passing, in passing and yeah. chatted with. And, you know, there's a there's a club car or there used to be in the day where you could, you know, stand in the train and you could get a beverage and a snack. And, you know, it was kind of fun. It was a good way to kill, mm -hmm. you know, 45 minutes or an hour on the train from the city back into the suburbs. And so there was a group of people and there were close friends and there were some guys on the periphery. And this is one of the guys on the periphery. And, I, you know, I, had I passed him on the street, I may or may not have said hello, but he walked into the, to the house and he recognized me before I recognized him. And he says, his name is Charles Lawrence. He says, no, Chris, no, Chris, it's not what it looks like. And I'm thinking it, he knows me from TV. Yeah. And that's what the guys of the crew thought too. And the more it set in, and I was like, wait a minute, that's Charles from the train. And I immediately called a buddy of mine. I said, who's the guy, you know, who was, then I described him. He said, oh yeah, that's so-and-so. And I said, oh my God. So yeah, in fact, it was him. And I called him later. I, I did. I called him, you know, sometime later when we were doing um, some follow-up work and I asked him if he wanted to talk and he, um, you know, he took the call. He decided not to talk, but... Uh, you know, he acknowledged that it was wrong and a mistake. And, you know, he claimed that, you know, he didn't have his glasses on and thought the guy said he was 18 <laughs> and said 13. And I didn't, didn't believe that. He, he found the address okay, so he must have been seen pretty well that day. But Yeah, his, his GPS was working that day anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know which GPS was working, but yeah. one of them was. In 